I'm leaving back after. <laughs> what yeah, is this? Yeah, somewhere. In here? Yeah. You don't want signature? to is remove the bit of side. Obvious whether you let it down or not. Seems like a sensible thing, did it? Ah, yes. Do that to go. Hang it up. Okay. 
you're not going to yank this out of the way up into my bedroom first. Where are we going to put that for the moment, you think? Good point. 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 Good I think you probably want to map that for more than yeah, it's actually straight so, out there. Right, step five. I don't understand your high key instructions. This bit. I think this is a bit too complicated for IKEA style instructions. So they've got you stick these on. Ah, oh, you stick those next to it so you know where to hold the panel up to. So you stick that on the wall, you then stick those sticky bits on the corners. So you know where the corner of the panel is going to go, you can peel them off later. You then... And it's done the one and two here, that's what's puzzling me. Oh, cardboard, you then remove cardboard. Puzzle that's got a notch. Don't the notch. Everything's got a notch now. Yeah, okay. And why can't they just write words? Because I'm not bringing in too many languages. Eventually, you put it on the wall like that against where it says, and then down, and then you put the lead in. Okay, so it's, it's like... Well, it comes with a sound bar because it needs something to plug the damn thing into and plug your ports into. It's more than just a sound bar, obviously. It's so. not really a sound bar. Okay, so we're not going to touch the glass yet, because when we do, we take up the cardboard and then we remove the glass. And then that bit I don't quite understand, because there's bits on the back of the glass. Because a sheet of glass, this is literally been on glass, a sheet of glass like that. We don't want to bend or anything, we just want to hook on the wall as quickly as possible. Um, but before we can do it, we need to do that. So we're going to need to unpack that bracket and understand how it goes on the wall. Yeah, that's one of the instructions. Okay, so we think. I can't really imagine that be the front because I mean, if you take the TV those out, you've got a nice are the bits front. that actually hold the TV. If you look at the back of that panel, you'll see those. Yeah. Is the one each? It doesn't quite seem to. There's only two, right there, each on each side. Yeah, but that doesn't seem to line up with. How gravity works. They're at the top, aren't they? They slot on. This is the top. Yeah, that, that, that looks like. Oh, okay, maybe. maybe. And then a bit side to side. Okay, so it makes another thing. Huh? So, what we're going to need the spirit level, let's just check. Oh, there, there are exactly two of these. Which you stick to the Right, and it's even got little bits here, so basically we're going to push it on there and slot it down to there. So when we've got that on the wall, we put them there, okay. so that we get the exact position we're slotting that piece of glass on. Okay, so that's good. Now, we're going to need more fixings and a spirit level. I might have got a proper spirit level, you never know. Actually, shit! That's got to be more accurate than looking at a bubble between some lines. Well, not necessarily. Okay. Yeah, and that's relying on how reliably someone drew two lines on the Okay, thing. so. And injected the glue into the tube. Should we try and do this ourselves or can we wait for Jim? Jim, you're 
Jim, Jim, Jim. It looks like it's like, zzz, zzz, and you're basically done. Right, well, depends what bits we've got. I have a feeling That's my drill control. kit is at the office. I have a drill. I just don't have holes. We have a big drill, and we have a screwdriver. We have a large pack of these, which are what we want. Those are the jobs. We have a screwdriver. I suspect between the two we can do this. But, let's check the instructions, sorry. Okay, so, we now know what that looks like. <coughs> I'm puzzled by this, this symbol here. Oh, is that peel the bits off? That's peel the stickies off, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, and then... Well, we can't just stick it to the wall because we haven't drilled the holes and... We need to is that to it. stick it to the wall and, like... And then... It must be to stick it to the wall because those clips are this side, so they're stick the wall. Yeah, and then you screw in afterwards to, like, properly secure it. But it sticks itself to the wall so you don't pull it. Well, that's what it looks like. The only downside I can see at the moment is we need to put these in before it's stuck to the wall. Yeah. So we need to work out where it goes on the wall first. And level. Okay, can you move the packing out of the way because James is going to need to walk over? Okay, so. Okay, so that is that. Can we go up a bit? Okay, we could, but we can just. Okay. So we put, put it in the corner there, yes. And then we need to push down. Mine's locked. Yours. Yep. Locked? No. Yes. Oh, so you're sure that's locked. Yeah. The magnets yeah. push it in. Yeah. 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 The magnets are pushed in. Yeah. 
There's an actual written instruction manual here that we can read. <laughs> I'm supposed to even get as much as you get. I'm patient in your age. you need for a plasterboard wall. Oh, I wonder what those are. Yeah, it's a little bit scary. I'm surprised there's no connector on the screen end. If you broke the cable, you can have to replace the whole screen. No, really? Well, there's no connector on the screen end, is there? I'm surprised it's not like a little maglock thing at the bottom. <laughs> Come on, you're done when you're shit. Flexing it on this fucking table. I hope this is the right way up. Um, I would hope that there's really only one way up you can put that, given the context. I really would hope. some little screws in here as well. But I'm not sure I actually need the screws in there. Plug that in there. Right, so we've got these. Well, can you imagine having to take that off the wall to put in your room when yeah. I get a 77 inch? Well, that's what, that what I was thinking. I was like, don't damage the back plate because I'll need this when I put it in my room. <laughs> when you are fresh. If you the wall, that's going to be a nightmare to get off, isn't it? Uh, I, I, mind you, I bet you can order a new back plate. Oh, yeah. I bet you can order a new wall mount. Yeah. A new cable. You half the price of a whole new cable. Have you got the screws for that? Isn't that going to come down? I'm not sure I will necessarily bother this week, but I'm just, I'm just thinking. Oh, how many? Oh shit. This was designed to go higher, wasn't it? Yeah. This, that's, that's as far back as it can go. Yeah. That's. But it would look good if you get it really nice and flat. We should have done it higher, and that kind of, having worked out how long the cable is. But, yeah. Um, oh, well, I'm lift that up and slide this so it's central. That's central. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now we need to go back to the pile, maybe. Ah, uh, you can even pull out and uh, this bit. We're going to need to get to networking next year. Okay. Haven't they just given up and made them dark monitors yet? They have, but you need to do it. No, but I mean like smart features, so you need to connect TV to the network or any of that bullshit. That's pretty nice, yeah? Hey, why isn't that just a big fucking bar with loads of HDMI ports here? It's got four. And an optical out for extra sound systems. None. Okay, no, the HDMI. I'm guessing that one. Not bad then. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Push back a bit. That's what the bad. fuck? Oh yeah. Oh, it has motorised pop outy speaker things. You that's can't push back through them, that's, that's, that's almost a problem. 
Well, if ever we do this on a shelf, the shelf's going to be on the floor. Someone's going to push that back at some point and regret it. That's okay. That's so, so long as it doesn't look like there's too much of a gap, it'll be alright. Right. Uh, it didn't sound like it when it made its start point. So, like the Apple Home Pod, when it when it starts up, it's like it makes the whole room fucking vibrate. That made some piddly shit sound. The spacing for that cable was not clear in those instructions. There should have been one little diagram saying when it, when it shows the wall, it should have shown this, this length of cable. This, 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 this. Yeah, but I think that's quite good. When you're sat there, that is going to block out most of your view of that cable. Right? Oh yeah, but still. It, it's just about perfect. I would have put that against the wall. I can't really push that base against the wall without that falling off the front now. Just go get deeper base. I need a small shelf, but... <laughs> Like yeah, exactly. Do you see my problem? Well, we'll leave that or you have to turn it the other way. I've got to turn a bit. Do I agree? Well, it's my TV. James, press the button. You're agreeing to stuff, so I'm not bound by them. Thank you. Well, that's pretty impressive. I edit this down a bit. Edit the video down a bit. Hal, open the pod bay doors. That is awesome. Right, there's no answer to that.